Hey there stars, welcome back to the channel. My name is Cara Mary and this is Cara Style where I share with you my upcycling journey and low waste lifestyle and in today's video it's going to be an exciting tutorial because I'm sharing how to take a sweater and unravel it. Like all of this yarn is upcycled. It is repurposed yarn from a sweater I thrifted. So the first thing that you want to do is turn it inside out so you want the seams facing you. You want the seams facing you because this is where we're going to cut like we need the, all the pieces to be separated in order to start unraveling you see the seam here i'm going to take my seam ripper you can use a scissor a small scissor and start cutting open the seam here's the key you want to make sure to to snip off the yarn that is holding the pieces together not the actual yarn that is creating the the knitting this is tricky so my tip is to take the yarn like the sweater take the sweater and pull it pull it because you can see how like the yarn that's holding the pieces together of the sweater that yarn tends to be a little bit thicker by expanding the by expanding the sweater and almost like pulling it you can see the yarn that you have to take off next up is like that seam that is holding like the shoulder area together that's very thick save your time and cut it off take a scissor and cut it yes there will be some little pieces of yarn loose but this saves you so much time what you want to do as you remove the seams you want to find that thread that is holding the pieces together and pull it once you pull it it's going to be a smooth separation and this saves you time when separating the pieces of the sweater same thing with the collar i just cut it off this does create some of those loose mountain like little fluffies there's a lot of like little, lot of, like, little yarns out I recommend to either wear a mask because there is a lot of like leftover like yarn pieces those little fl fluffies in the air so definitely wear a mask when you unravel your sweater so you can use this either to fill a plushie like if you're into crochet you can crochet an orange and then fill it with these like leftover yarns that were like loose from not being a continuous strand once you do have a continuous strand it feels like butter it's smooth and so relaxing like if you have one of those days where you just want to do one thing that feels satisfying unraveling a sweater is that you continuously pull the thread and as you pull 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 you're going to see this like soft movement of the loops and the thread coming out as you can see it's like this ramen shaped yarn this does vary sweater to sweater but it's just so satisfying putting pulling the strands and as you pull you want to make sure to take the yarn and create the yarn ball this is what you want to achieve when you are unraveling your sweater it might take a bit so do take your time i start from the top and work my way to the bottom by working my way from the top i look for that yarn that is continuous so then i can start turning it into a yarn ball another technique that i do use is tie it so let's say it like breaks on you like the yarn stops pulling and it's not like long then you can just tie it with a simple knot and then you continue moving and moving around if you have cats oh my god if you have cats it's a little bit dangerous right like let me know in the comments let me know in the comments some cats do behave others are gonna see this and it's just gonna want to play and that is how you can create that nice technique and you want to continue to continue until reaching the hem like that hem area where you have the double the double stitches like that will unravel this area will unravel very easily and you will continue repeating this process with all of the pieces of the sweater it tends to be the front the back and the two arms you will have like i said leftover but you can always use that leftover to create and reuse for another project but this is what you want to see that is what you want you just want it to pull and be continuous the more continuous the yarn is the better results you will have depending on the size of the sweater you might have a ton you might have a little a lot depends on the size of the sweater and the gauge of the yarn gauge meaning the size the thickness of the yarn this one was very thin and it did break on me very often so it might be a little bit tricky if you have any problems troubleshooting and need help let me know in the comments i'll answer as soon as possible and as you start to pull the yarn and turn it into a ball you want to make sure it's nice and tight your ball has to have like this 
look to it what i do is that i spin it around 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 and then move spin it around 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 almost like a spiral like think about it like the way you take a ton of rubber bands and create a ball like a rubber band ball that is the sort of tension nice tight that you want your yarn ball to have next let me know which project you're working on using upcycled sweater and the most beautiful thing about this it is zero waste i have done this tutorial in the past so you can click up here to see that tutorial as well so you can get two videos and this is a technique that you can do with all types of sweaters Especially now that it's sweater weather, like the thrift store has a ton of sweaters that you can find. And I recommend that you go take it to the dry cleaners or wash it yourself before you unravel the sweater. Stay tuned to next week's tutorial because I'll be showing how to take this yarn and crochet a scrunchie. All types of scrunchies. Like I'll show also different textures. But this is going to be a fun one because it's nice orange, like orange, yellow, red. Those are my colors. I love those colors. So this is going to be nice and fun. So next Sunday's tutorial. And then Wednesday, it is a vlog talking about sustainable fashion in spanish so in this channel we are a global fashion squad that's pretty much the tutorial i hope you've enjoyed it if you made it this far to the tutorial make sure to use this emoji in the comments letting me know that you made it this far to shine together in our star squad make sure to follow me on Car at Kara style give the video a like subscribe come back every wednesday and sunday wednesdays are vlogs with Kara, and sundays are sewing tutorials with style all done in Kara style making fashion con sazon